this session we are going to particularly talk about the third concept that is area of triangle so let's consider a triangle with vertices a b and c and let's say their coordinates are x1 y1 for a x2 y2 for b and x3 y3 for c and we have to learn how to find the area of triangle when we have the information only about the coordinates of the vertices so let's move on so first of all let's divide it into parts using the perpendiculars from the three points so that the process of finding the area of this triangle is simplified using these parts so let's draw a perpendicular from a which meets x axis at e so therefore coordinates for e will be x1 comma 0 similarly let's draw a perpendicular from b and c which meets x axis at f and g so therefore their points will be x2 comma 0 for f and x3 comma 0 for g and we are going to find the area of this triangle in terms of coordinates of these points if you see the diagram closely we can figure out that area of triangle abc can be found out very easily if the area abfe is added to area bcgf and from them we need to subtract the area ACGE if you notice all three shapes are trapeziums trapeziums are basically quadrilaterals and as we all know quadrilaterals are the shapes which have four sides so in quadrilateral if one pair of the opposite sides are parallel then they are called as trapezium so we can see that we are having three trapeziums if we are able to find the area of these trapeziums then we would be able to find the area of triangle very easily so let's start finding the lengths which is required in finding the areas so let's start with ef length ef is x2 minus x1 length fg is x3 minus x2 and length eg is x3 minus x1 now let's find out the vertical lengths length ae is y1 minus 0 that is y1 and length bf is y2 minus 0 that is y2 and length CG is Y3 minus 0, therefore it is Y3. So now let's learn how to find the area of trapezium. Let's start with the first trapezium, ABFE. So for finding the area of this trapezium, let's draw a perpendicular AD on BF. Now if you can see that, this trapezium is split into two parts. The first part is rectangle ADFE. So therefore AD is X2 minus X1 and DF is Y1 and the second part is right angle triangle ADB. So AD is X2 minus X1, we know this from the rectangle but we have to find the length BD. For that we need to subtract the length DF that is Y1 from the length BF that is Y2. So therefore length BD is Y2 minus Y1. So now let's find the area of rectangle and this triangle and after adding those areas we'll get the area of this trapezium. Area of rectangle is length into breadth so therefore area of rectangle will be y1 into x2 minus x1 since its length is y1 and breadth is x2 minus x1 of the rectangle ADFE and area of right angle triangle is half into base into height therefore area will be half into x2 minus x1 into y2 minus y1 since x2 minus x1 is the base of the triangle and y2 minus y1 is the height of the triangle so let's add them to get the area of trapezium a b f e so after adding and rearranging the terms we will get area of this trapezium a b f e as half into y1 plus y2 into x2 minus x1 so here we got the area of this trapezium if you observe this carefully it is nothing but half into sum of the lengths of the parallel sides that is length of AE and length of BF into distance between the parallel sides that is distance between AE and BF so let's write this formula below its diagram so using the same logic we will find the areas of the remaining two trapeziums as well so therefore their areas will be so let's add the areas of first two trapeziums and subtract the third one we will get area of triangle ABC so on calculating and rearranging the terms we will get area of triangle ABC as 
half into x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2. If you are finding this formula difficult to remember, I can help you with a simple trick. So let's see what it is. Write the numbers 1, 2, 3 in this manner such that each row and each column have all the three numbers. And consider this column as the column of x. And consider these two columns as the columns of y. Okay? So now we want to find area of triangle A, B, C. We'll write half as it is. Then start with the first term of x, that is x1. Then these two terms are associated with 1. They'll represent terms for y. So that is y2 minus y3. Plus, similarly, start with second term of x. So that is x2. And the terms associated with 2 is y3 and y1 plus similarly for the third one that is third term of x x3 and the terms associated with 3 is 1 and 2 so therefore y1 minus y2 so now we know how to remember the formula using this trick so now let's take an example to see how this formula works in finding the area of triangle when the coordinates of the vertices are given so let's take any three points with their coordinates that is a 2 3 b 6 4 and c 3 6 and we need to find the area of triangle formed with a b c we need not draw any diagram because now we have formula so we can apply the formula directly to get the area so let's apply the above formula so let's take 2 and 3 as x1 y1 6 and 4 as x2 y2 and 3 and 6 as x3 y3 so area of this triangle abc will be 11 by 2 and we measure the area in terms of square units so now we understood how to apply this formula so in this session we have learnt 